Is this the best banana leaf rice in Malaysia? Come with me to find out if it's worth it. Banana leaf rice is one of the must tries if you're ever visiting Malaysia or if you're in a state where banana leaf rice is not common. With only 7% of Malaysia's 33 million population being Malaysian Indian, banana leaf rice is definitely one of Malaysia's popular dish. You can have it during either breakfast, lunch, or even dinner. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today we're exploring Klang Valley Malaysia where this banana leaf rice is commonly found in shopping malls. Let's go! So banana leaf rice in shopping malls has becoming more popular recently in the last few years and this is called banana bistro is one you can find in multiple malls. The one that I'm visiting here is located at the Starling Mall in Petaling Jaya. They have made this Malaysian's favorite Indian breakfast be available in a comfy environment where you get air conditioning and the place is clean because before this you can only find in mamak stores where you don't really have air conditioning it's kind of hot so this is the menu as you can see there they had the breakfast menu there where it's only available during the breakfast timing so make sure you come early if you want to try the breakfast set while you're looking through the menu let me tell you a bit more details about banana bistro i want to mention also the other outlets available for banana bistro is at other than the starling mall pj it's at new central kuala lumpur so it's in New Central Mall in Kuala Lumpur, this outlet is certified as halal. It's certified by Jakim. So Muslim friends can feel free to visit the New Central outlet so you can eat without any worries. Oh, I want to talk about this delicious set lunch. On Monday to Friday, you get free drinks. It's unlimited refill for the rice, the curries, the veggies and so on. And as you can see, on each day, you have something special. It's quite a good deal actually. And for now, as I'm feeling this, I just want to Inform that there is free bubo hitam which is like free bubo pulut hitam like glutinous black rice with coconut milk santan for every delicious banana leaf rice set that you order so the other outlets is located also at UOA Shah Alam KL Gateway Mall in Kuala Lumpur and also last but not least the KSL Esplanade Mall located in Klang yes so Klang friends you can enjoy this okay time for you to see the experience of eating banana leaf rice so if you haven't seen this this is pretty cool there's no plate you're given banana leaf that's why it's called banana leaf rice as your plate then it's kind of like a buffet style where you can have as much rice as you want and as much of these condiments that you want so you don't have to move out from your seat the server will bring you all the stuff and ask you how much that you want and now as you can see the condiments are being served so there's the potato masala deep fried bitter gourd or snake gourd which is a different type of bitter gourd and also this is like cabbage that has indian spices it's really delicious well of course my favorite have to be the deep fried stuff which is the deep fried snake gourd it's really cool the batter has flavor because it's very well marinated with spices you won't regret trying it and then comes the different types of curry so usually you get like crab curry fish curry chicken curry and this banana bistro is special that it has kurma sauce you don't really get that in other banana leaf rice places so this is you definitely have to try it here normally we like to have our rice flooded with the curry sauce because it's just so amazing but don't worry if it's not enough for you you can always ask the guy to add on more for you it's unlimited so there you have it the delicious banana leaf rice set it's so amazing this is the basic set of course you can add on extra meats and other stuff if you want so we have quite a few stuff ordered so keep watching and you see the rest of the dishes that we order all of which are really good oh i forgot to mention the other two last things that you're given is the really cool mango pickle and also the sour curd chili or deep fried chili and also oh there's papadam too yeah i didn't mention that right so it's such a great deal be careful that the roasted chili is extremely salty okay now time to talk about the side dishes that we ordered i'm gonna go through each of this one by one because every one of this side dish deserves a good shout out all is worth a try so there is the crispy and spicy fried squid next is the mutton paratha paratha is when you have meat that is simmered in a rich 
thick gravy. Last but not least is the sambal udang petai. Udang means prawn in Malay and petai is a type of vegetable while sambal is a blend of chilies. I want to talk more about each of this. So the mutton paratal, it's a very tender mutton meat that is simmered in thick, luscious, rich, savory curry gravy. Don't underestimate the crispy and spicy fried squid. Yes, it's kind of spicy but it's wonderful. It's very soft and fresh squid. So there's a hint of spicy with loads of flavor. For the sambal udang petai, of course, it's incredibly flavorful. So you have some big red onions in it. The prawns are really chunky, huge. It's also juicy on the inside. You can taste that the prawns is very fresh. I definitely love this dish. Well, honestly, I actually enjoy all of the dishes. So I want to zoom in to see how big this prawn is. And you can see how fresh, luscious, juicy, nice prawn. Oh, one of the side dish I left out earlier is the cauliflower 65 fried. In an Indian restaurant, when you see the word 65, it's always a nicely spiced batter. And this one, they do it incredibly well. I take back what I said just now. This is probably my favorite side dish. It is incredibly fresh flavorful i love 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 this one the deep fried curry leaves make it ever more fragrant the cauliflower is very easy to buy it is fried to perfection this is a vegan dish who say that vegans do not have good food because this is amazing i can eat this every day i shouldn't forget about the chapati with potato masala so it has the same side dish as the banana leaf rice as well if you're not a rice person you can always go for the chapati which is the, the bread the roti here it's absolutely amazing dip it in the curry sauce you love it so we talk talk about the chapati, we talk about the banana leaf fry. The next thing I'm gonna talk about is the delicious chicken biryani. For the meat eaters, you definitely enjoy this chicken biryani. It might look simple, it's topped with some raisins and cashew nuts, but I'm sure you'll be blown away by how flavorful this dish is. For the sides of the chicken biryani, it comes with papadam, which is the deep fried lentil chips, and also cucumber raita, which is chopped cucumber cubes and also sliced, thinly sliced onion that is simmered in yogurt sauce. This is very healthy. As if the chicken biryani is already not flavorful enough, you're also given with a house-made curry sauce. This is amazing. I personally think that eating the chicken biryani by itself is already extremely flavorful, but when you're given a curry sauce, why not just try putting a little bit of it into the chicken biryani? Okay, now time to see what is so amazing about this biryani. A very generous portion to start off with, and look at the rice, it's very fluffy. Biryani and rice is normally very expensive and you can see that they are using good quality rice. How expensive do you ask me? It's more expensive than your Thai jasmine rice and also Japanese rice. Okay, why am I digging this rice now? Because as you can see, that is like a treasure. All the ingredients like this hard boiled egg is at the bottom of the dish, right? It's like digging treasure. I keep saying it's chicken biryani but where is the chicken if you ask me? So let me try and find where is the chicken. As I continue to dig this rice, oh and now I found one huge chicken chunks so overall there was actually four huge chicken chunks like this that I didn't film it all but it's four huge ones we end our amazingly delicious meal with this free bubo so bubo this is bulut hitam so it's black glutinous rice that has coconut milk santan in it don't underestimate it may look small but it's one that is big in its flavor and ingredients so you get some red beans underneath also generous with the tapioca pearls it's a perfect way to end our meal right time to talk about the drinks of course we had to try the masala tea masala tea itself you get the sugar separator which is amazing so you get to taste the spices on it and i can tell you that the spices is strong in this one i was very satisfied with how it tastes they definitely did not skim on the ingredients in the making of this masala tea the mango lassi is also really different from the other mango lassis out there because you get the mango boba pearls which is so cool because it pops in your mouth it's worth a try also not forgetting the brew which is like kind of like a coffee i don't know why they do this coffee extremely well instead it has that roasted taste if you're a coffee lover then you have to get the brew so a refreshing one is the lime juice which is ai limau means lime water this is very refreshing if you want a lighter drink you can go for this one overall i would say that we really enjoy our experience dining in this banana bistro banana leaf rice place if you're looking for authentic banana leaf rice in malaysia you should really check out this spot it's muslim friendly and it's vegetarian friendly the side dishes and the curries and the rotis here are done amazing so i hope you enjoy this place thanks for watching have you been to this place yet if you like to see more food hunt videos like this please like and subscribe see you next time <laughs>